become a member of federal parliament, one must be a Nepali citizen who is not convicted of any crimeful offense, including moral turpitude. And this is stated in the Constitution of Nepal. But is this implemented correctly? We have gangsters, town politicians, convicted of murder, yet still managing to win provincial assembly elections, to even becoming a minister. We have murderers, one who was recently granted amnesty, serving only one foot of his jail term, completely violating the moral jurisdictions and the judiciary system. Then there's the Maoist insurgency, which resulted in the death of over 17,000 people. Yet, the ones responsible for it are still serving in the highest position in the cabinet of ministers. These are the idols of Nepalese politics. Nepalese politics scenario is a polarity between communists and the democrats. But there is a commonality, which is corruption. Corruption using constitution as a loop, loophole in the constitution. Corruption using organized crime syndicates. Corruption using family members and relatives to facilitate them. These are the idols of Nepalese politics. And there are plenty of examples. The Buddhist refugee scam, the you know, white body plan scan plane scandals, etc. And it seems corruption has become a staple part of Nepalese politics. And it has led to frustrations and brain drain among youths, with youths opting out of the country for better opportunities in economy, in financials, and in education. And then, can we blame them? Like for the nurse, the wage is 15,000 minimum, the minimum wage, when they pay above 10 lakhs for the education. And similarly, in this increasing inflation, where the, where the price for the daily foods and goods are increasing, the police government haven't still tried to implement policy to shift the police economic system from a tax-centric mode of revenue to a more diversified one. But we still have hope. There is representation and inclusion from youths leading to hope, leading to light, leading to changing the idols of Nepalese politics. Thank you.